today using some knits and flannels, a dish towel or a single crocheted pad, as well as some hanging materials, pins and scissors. We're gonna be making some unpaper towels. I'm gonna start off with making the flannel unpaper towel first. So I'm gonna use a piece of flannel about 10 by 10 inches, as well as a dish towel that you can easily get. And with the right sides together for the flannel and then either side for this child, I'm just going to pin these together. So there'll be more information in the description for exactly what type of material you'd wanna use. But we're just gonna be pinning these together as we are going to take a seam all the way around the edge, leaving about a two to three inch gap. With the seam complete, I'm going to trim this extra material and clip the corners. Now I'm gonna turn this right side out with that little gap that I created, and I'm going to use an iron to press this to make sure it's flat. Now I'm going to pin up the gap, and what I'm gonna to do to close that is I'm actually gonna take a top stitch all the way around the unpapered towel. So I'm gonna finish pinning this up, and then I'm just going to take that final seam. that my top stitch is now complete so that gap is closed up that was there before and what I'm gonna do is just trim off some of these extra threads overall this um, feeling is very nice you have that soft side and then you have the more sturdy dish towel side so it was gonna work pretty well for our unpaper towel so this is definitely an optional step but I decided to add a grommet in the upper corner of my unpaper towel so I will post a link to a video showing you how to do one correctly, as at the end you'll see that mine ended up looking a little messy. But what I did was I cut a little hole into both pieces of fabric. I used my grommet tool to kind of make that hole be a little bit more defined. And then I added the two pieces of the grommet on either side of the tool. I pressed down, and at the end I did have a grommet so that I could hang my unpaper towel off a hook. the second type of unpapered towel, I used a crocheted square, it's a single crochet made out of cotton yarn, and then I got four pieces of knit fabric, and I ended up putting these on top of each other and pinned them together, similar to as I did the first unpapered towel, but this one may be better for like your face as a washcloth type thing. And I'm going to take a seam all the way around, leaving that about two inch gap. Now we will trim the corners and cut off the extra fabric. Using that gap, you're just going to turn this right side out and we are going to press it to make it nice and flat like before. So now that I have this ironed down, that little gap is still open. So I'm going to take a piece of cord. So this is just like a cotton cord um, and you can make it as big as small as you want. You could also use ribbon or yarn for this. And I'm going to insert this into the gap and that way I have a holder for my like facial unpaper towel. So I will pin this closed and then I'm going to hand sew this as it's kind of thick with both the yarn and the knit. So here's just another angle so you can kind of see it from above. So that is my gap that I'm going to hand sew closed. And when I do the hand sew, as you can see that there is a lot of fabric with, there's the four layers of knit as well as that crochet piece. So I'm just taking a whip stitch and going through it, being sure to get all of the layers as well as getting that cord material. And here is my completed crocheted yarn unpaper towel. So it's really soft, the hook is very strong, feels durable, and will allow for easy organization. And this would be perfect for washing your face in a bathroom and then hanging it up to dry. And here are two unpapered towels. So there's that softer washing your face in the bathroom as well as a more durable kitchen one. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like it and subscribe.